Hey, this is my list of horror movies that I don't think everyone's heard of and that everyone really should be watching all of the time. And they're really great for hanging out with your friends on a date that's at home or just really if you want to expand your horror movie repertoire to some really unique titles that are going to be great conversation starters that are going to hit the ground running and not really have too much like turn off subject matter it's not going to be very like you know elephant man or you know children of the corn not i don't particularly like my date movies to have like a lot of you know kids or family oriented stuff even in horror movies i guess that could just be me um i was excited to be an adult and i love my adult subject matter kind of kid free Although it is perfectly lovely to have that juxtaposition of youth and innocence with creeptastic and it just doesn't usually like register as a favorite for me when that's the case. And so yeah, I think these are really um, just kind of easy watching. They're not really like psychological thrillers where if you miss a beat, you're not really going to know where you're at. And so yeah, you can just kind of super just chill and have them on. and. Um, have, like I said, a lot to talk about afterwards. Um, before I jump in, I'm going to take a moment to address the fact that I have lots of oil on me, and I just really want to encourage everybody to get oiled up and watch a horror movie, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's in my hair, it's on my face, it's like in my hair from my face, and um, I have Garden of Life Essential Oil Happy, um, which is like geranium and orange and palmarosa and the first one that kind of came to mind for this was zombie strippers and that one stars robert england and jenna jameson and uh, robert england is kind of lording over the strip club and it gives you everything that you're hoping for in this title it's super hot there's lots of nudity there's really good gore and um it almost makes me think of this scene if you've seen like the cabin fever movies where these two girls are fighting on the beach and they're like basically falling apart and they're like in a full like cat fight with each other and so I feel like that feeling of like decrepit slash total feminine power time is like happening all throughout zombie strippers like and you're definitely you're gonna get your dances in there too it's no sucker punch tease you're actually gonna get a lot of really good dances so um that's a really fun one and um the next one i thought of was maniac with elijah wood um i love that he has that like woodshed specter vision production company and that he you know took such commercial success and brought it to these smaller projects like Daniel Radcliffe does and um, and just all the great artists that that tend to really mix up what they're doing and so I think that this movie is so cool because um, unlike a movie where you get all that awesome suspense of like building up to seeing the monster in its entirety like 40 minutes in in this you're in the actual shoes and through the eyes of the killer and so that's really cool um it did inspire me to have a mannequin in my room for like a year or two because i worked at a mall for a long time and um i liked having the mannequin in my room as kind of a nod to this movie and he definitely brings like a little bit of like an indie touch to to what he does i i'm always interested in what elijah wood's doing <laughs> um cemetery man is a really incredible movie it's an italian production these are not reviews like i'm just like bullet point just throwing out like movie points that i think are really great and i don't really want to like go over what's in it or like touch on any spoilers or anything i just want to tell you to go watch it and i just want you to take my advice <laughs> um so cemetery man is um well like the the lead is pretty much how i hope that people are going to behave <laughs> when i meet them um just you know very um uh, well a bit a bit morbid and kind of glib and morose and a little sassy and um, just kind of saying all the things in the movie that you really hope that um, a, a graveyard caretaker is going to say. It's just really, um, a, you know, kind of like morbid fantasy fulfillment of a character. I just really enjoy 
um, everything that they did with the film, there's, you know, kind of zombie uh, action <laughs> happening. And um, yeah, so it's really, really fun. And I would say that the ending gets really crazy, but again, it's something that you can um, just enjoy the beauty of, you know, an ossuary. The next one is um, Haosu, and it's a Japanese horror comedy. I think it's like widely touted as um, one of the most bizarre movies of all time. It has really incredible effects that they just really, um, that they really play with. It almost, it's like they, they use like every effect like known to man when they made this movie <laughs> and I'll kind of let it speak for itself um but I really hope that you check out how Sue there is so much happening in that movie <laughs> so um the next one that I want to mention is high tension and I'm going to ignore because again I have different criteria for what I love about horror movies like if you know if it didn't get the best reviews or anything like that to me high tension is a movie that you just kind of buckle up for and jump right in and it's the most kind of just like traditional slashery movie that I kind of thought of for this and it's it's something where like if you feel like the ending doesn't make any sense you've thought about it for like a couple minutes too long it's just not really about that in my opinion it's really just you know just get up and go like you said <laughs> like just dive right in kind of thing and um, this one in particular again it's a it's a French movie um, when I was years and years younger, I was having one of those really like annoyed days and I went over to my best friend's house who is now my incredible boyfriend and um, he was like, well, you just need like screwdrivers and a good horror movie and so I always think of this movie as like just kind of like put the weight of the world over there, kick your feet up and like strap in for just like a cool small cast kind of all at night um, films so it's just really basic and fun and uh, a, a lot of really good again kind of like slashery moments so um vhs the first and second one um are probably some of the more well-known movies that i'm mentioning and uh, i guess because like netflix promoted them so much but those are such like anthology um just again easy watching where you can just kind of pick it up and put it down at any point and it's just filmed from all different angles, GoPro, you know, home security footage, whatever, whatever it is. And so it was, again, a really different take on it, which is why I think that I, I think there's like three at least of these movies now. But um, again, I mostly just saw like the first and second one. So I, I would say that those are really good. And um, again, kind of non non-committal, which isn't like, again, top criteria for a movie that you're watching but when you're hanging out and you just like want to be able to like you know pop up and go outside for a second or you know like go to the bathroom for a second or whatever you're doing you know that's that's kind of fun to just yeah be able to pick it up and put it down and so the next one is um devil's carnival which is like the first one in my mind always because it's just such a good movie uh the soundtrack is so incredible there's an extended soundtrack as well and i just feel like if you want to listen to that soundtrack like again it's a musical so if you want to listen to that before during and after the film you can it just plays as well as a really incredible band and uh adam pascal is on the extended um i, I believe it's queen Emily Autumn uh, is in the movie, and so that was just super exciting to me. Um, this is uh, from like the same guys who put together Repo Genetic Opera, uh, which everybody's heard of and stuff, so everybody should have heard of and seen this one as well. And it's uh, similar to Zombie Strippers, exactly what the title evokes is really what you're getting. You're getting just this very cool carnival ride, super theatrical and um yeah it's, it's really fun um it just kind of plays with uh you know different different fables and stuff so it's really cool and um the signal is oh by the way devil's carnival is one of those like um musicals that people who say that they don't like musicals will really love it's one of those ones like um the greatest showman or nightmare before christmas um, where just, yeah, if somebody says, I don't like musicals, this, this will make them switch teams. 
though. The Signal um, was another one that I thought of. It's not the one with Lawrence Fishburne. It's, although that one's really incredible too. This is the one from like 2007 or something like that. And it's kind of about like a signal that goes through um, that makes about like half the people that register it go pretty homicidal. And I wouldn't say that it's like like self-aware the way that like <laughs> zombie strippers is or something, but like it has like those like offbeat moments that you know you can tell are just meant to be really like amusing and stuff and so um so yeah the signal is really fun I always love anything that like you know remembers to bring you like that levity in the middle of um you know that that heart pounding horror stuff so I hope that you can really like enjoy just watching something really different like I said I'm just trying to like expand horizons these are always like those kind of like you know just really different movies that I just like I, I hope people can experience and stuff because I think that we all so often like end up seeing like the same thing again and again and so this is a really cool thing to be able to like recommend to other people if you guys have some treasures where you're just like I don't ever hear people talking about this movie and I want people to know about it I'd love for you to recommend those um, especially horror movies but really anything like that if you're just like this is a gem and it does not get enough recognition and, um, and yeah, like I said, like just get really oiled up and then watch them. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And I hope that my future videos will be as varied as this list is.